World Kart Game Federation here with a very local match. This one is going to be featuring myself and a fellow who doesn't usually get to get on the recorded matches, Kevin. He's going to be using the tried and true count to four, saying Rampage and Gotenks. Uh, I'm going to be using a Saiyan enhanced uh, Super Premier Goku. It's a modernized version of a deck I adored from the uh, the Pansy days. It's I've had a hard time finding that sweet spot with it. Uh, between me and you, it's not a deck that has a strong chance of holding back MPV, which, as you know, is Go Tanks is one trick. I almost it literally bounced like that. And we're rolling to see who goes first. No, can't. I want to say I get okay. Uh, you start this. So it looks like I'm going to go ahead and get this one. I'm going to go ahead and draw what looks like a bad early game hand. So it's uh, the kind of hand where I should pass. I don't know what I held on to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass and rejuvenate. Looks like I'm going to put back a direct strike back into the deck, which makes sense. Okay, it's going to go back over to Kevin for his first turn. I want to say, if I remember this fight correctly... He's going to go ahead and draw an early game Spooky Ghost, which is fine. Uh, it is uh, awfully terribly neat to get one of those guys early game and not have him damaged out or something like that. But between me and you, you're going to see that guy get bounced and killed a whole bunch during this particular game. And that shows me like how effective a non- ally MP can be with just a couple of key cards like a named card that summons him back constantly and targets him from dual zones. He's going to go ahead and finish powering up his personalities. And he has two cards in his hand, and, and the way that I tended to see it, yes, he could on um, Gotenks with all of his abilities to push, like he has his uh, block built in, his prevention on it. He could get to his second level by counting to four with two cards in his hand. I would say that would be the case. It's crazy that this was the fix all along. It was just one of these chairs. Okay, and it goes back over to me. And we're just talking about how much I needed the chair I'm sitting on. Uh, the chair in question uh, keeps me from having uh, issues, and I'm able to sort of hang in there longer. So it looks like I held on to one of the Saiyan swipes, which is a good thing, but somehow I ended up with two early game. No, I did not hold on to the Saiyan swipes. And I know dang well the Gotenks is energy-based, has a handful of physicals, but they generally don't do enough damage to matter. So it goes back over to Kevin. Uh, I will say I did not have the kind of second hand I would have hoped to make some, you know, gain some headway. Some drills would have been nice. And uh, Kev does have a full hand of four. There's no reason he couldn't do this and make the magic happen. Okay, he's going to go and declare combat. Now I have a Goku's one entering, and hey guys, since I actually know what happened here on this particular match, I'm going to take a little bit of an aside and talk about <laughs> how uh, I thought we were going to end the match right here because this was actually near the tail end of games that particular day. Uh, we're not ultimately, but we're just going to talk a little bit about some other things. So we're going to talk about how this Gotenks took the place of Vegito in the speed ramp MPPV. One particular match I would actually like to see in the near future, which you might just see me set up such a thing, would have been the heyday of Ferrari trunks, the uh, awakening set trunks, you know, the one that had speed MPPV. Uh, would have been versus this particular Gotenks to see who can have the shortest match in existence. It would be a most exciting fight in that way. So here's me forgetting I have a win entering and having the absolutely unmitigated gall to <laughs> put to take the top four off or top three off rather and uh, show them as if it, those weren't going to change as I pulled out my. You know, level one when entering. Ah, fantastic. So uh, keep an eye out for that one. I'll arrange for that particular fight. Uh, I know two people who still have their Ferrari trunks assembled. Uh, one person, actually. And uh, the, the go tanks and just watch each other have, like we said, a race for the shortest uh, game possible. I will vote it goes less than ten minutes, just depending on who draws. I wonder, will it come down to just luck in the draw? All right. Well, shoot. I don't know if we should start over <laughs> No, no, it's that's fine because uh, we actually w haven't changed anything, and the cards I'm going to go ahead and draw here are going to go ahead and change anyway. So it didn't matter that I revealed my hand. 
you know. Hey, obscure yeah. question. Uh, I don't think there's a rule against a player not revealing not their not hand, as in there's no penalty for such a thing. It's probably not a good thing that we have, you know, this kind of ideas, but here we go. So I am going to go ahead and resolve my level one when entering. I'm going to uh, grab Anguish Drill, because that's uh, it, it comes down to it. It's either Transformation or Anguish Drill here in that first one, because they're targetable by Goku's level one power. And the uh, stinky thing is, if I don't get them out, basically, as the when entering once or twice or pull out another drill to sort of pull it all together, I don't actually have enough non-continuous Saiyan-style drills to make this feasible. So I drew a terrible hand in comparison, and I believe I'm actually going to hold that sphere to the end of the game. He opens up with a point-blank volley. Now, he says he's going to go ahead and gain two anger right away. Uh, one from it, and one if my opponent's at zero, I believe is the case. So that is an interesting thing. So he's going to get two anger. I, I think I called Point Blank Valley one of the most aggressively mediocre cards the game's ever produced. It's not that it's useless in any way, but it's so situational as to be useless. But it turns out Gotenks makes incredible use of it, using the same power as Awakening Gohan with that conversion to style. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to retaliate with a spin kick, blow up his ghost. I'd say I raise my anger one off of the yeah, spin kick, which, like we said, I don't traditionally ra uh, level with anger on this particular deck, so it's fine. Okay, he's going to go ahead and take the hit, I believe. Okay, he's going to go ahead and use Kamikaze. Or he didn't, actually. Or didn't com uh, calculate damage hardly at all. So that should be like a good seven stages. And I also missed the timing on the enhanced. Uh, thank God for friendly games. So, okay, he's going to take his one life card to damage and knock out all of his power stages. Because this adds one life damage to this one. Okay. Actually, I probably could have. I slightly missed play, but it's okay. Slight miss. I think he's talking about how he could have prevented all the damage instead of just taking all those stages. He's going to respond with a face strike, raises his anger to, and looks like I'm going to go ahead and take uh, the direct strike, not the direct strike, face strike, and it's going to go ahead and hit me, do no damage, uh, lower his anger, so he ends up ultimately with two. Just fine. Let's see, when you perform. So yeah, uh, try to remember the performing it. step. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a key web for free at him. It's going to go ahead and mill uh, both of us and banish it off the first shot that. of Enhanced. And it's going to go ahead and okay, banish so that one out of there. Mill one and then banish it. Yep. Because uh, this one says, whenever you perform an attack, you may destroy the top card of the player's each player's life. So we're just going over some of the effect of enhanced. To be perfectly honest, I know a lot of the players here see lots and lots of advanced, excuse me, enhanced play way back when it first came out, and then a couple of other really gimmicky decks. But it didn't show up much in our little group. So I've done the mill. So preventing all the damage. And then I we each mill one. So I'm going to go ahead and get a rejuva two on this one. Hits. No, Mario, just, question. it, it won't matter. Card, Look, and we mill just... Immediately? Oh, yeah, yeah, we have to resolve yours first. Yep. So we mill, 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 I level. Okay, oh, that's why. Okay, gotcha. We're doing the mill from his uh, level one of prevention power. So he's going to go ahead and actually get just enough anger to count to four, rocket to level two, get the stages he needed, and get out of stage lock. Wonderful. Cool, now I can do, now I can do all the, all the spooky, scary stuff. So he's got his uh, many energy attacks to go ahead and start throwing those. He's going to raise his anger immediately. Obviously, the conversion power, he's going to snag his ghost back from the discard pile. That was my memory, is that we actually see this particular ghost go and come several times. Looks like I'm taking five life from the hit. Okay. There we go. I don't know why I seemingly hovered over banishing a drill, because I'm a doofus. And one of the most important drills for my deck just fell out. So raise my anger one level with the mastery power. So I'm going to activate this one, and I want to say the timing on this was actually a little poor. Why would I not just rejuvenate two energy blocks? Oh, no, that's right. I do a spin kick and a hand swipe. So those work fine. Okay, I raise my anger one on that one. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and use a galactic donut. 
I think it's yeah, four life on this particular game. one, but like I said, the anger game still one happens on the hit, life. even though it's non-styled. Not only would I raise an anger, but it would attach to your MP. Well, I did say so he was gonna turn, gonna uh, hit me pretty uh, good during this little fight. To top two of your life so I took a lot of good best. hits there. Uh, I, I don't know anything about this, sorry. Uh, attach to the will attach me to me rejuvenate this one. Oh, that's right. It's Galactic wow. Donut, it the one that attaches and then gives your opponent the, uh, sorry, it gives you the ability to banish it. No, 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 rejuvenate it later to do damage to your opponent to make him banish. It's a neat card idea. It's actually one of the more unique things to come out of this set. Because I said that this particular set broke the game and created a really rough divide between old and new cards. At least that's my opinion. How man. Ranch is too dirty. It's not good enough either. It's like maybe... And then I've already used the mastery, and, uh, and we have a little bit of technical difficulties. Yeah, so uh, apparently I got my anger up to three. Like Neat. I'm pretty sure. That very closely. So close. <laughs> well, ten is one of those like if you know the count. Yeah, I'll throw. And we're gonna see what's. Okay, he's going to throw his uh, his ally yeah. attack, which again gets converted to style, uh, will trigger off the mastery, and just make life difficult for everybody. So I take my my, uh, my small, apparently two life, and it blows itself up. He raises his anger. He's going to go ahead and be level three with one. Neat. Uh, I ate a lot of energy attacks this particular combat. It was not my shining moment. So it looks like I hit a little bit of endurance, took care of it, and apparently I banished a muck drill for the endurance. That is insane. What was I thinking? I got nothing else oh, yeah, I remember you were yeah, and it converted his power to a styled attack, and he gets the anger off rampaging. So, looks pretty bad, huh? Uh, you're looking at us halfway through the match, and he's already at level 3. So something's going to happen from here, as you might have guessed. So apparently I'm going to draw my hand, I'm going to go ahead and resolve my level 1 when entering, which I think I, I told you guys, if I didn't have transformation left in the deck, a non-continuous drill to trigger the transformation, I couldn't got to level 2 to actually do this. So it would have been a giant waste. Uh, let's see, so I'm going to go ahead and snag a drill, and uh, I'm trying to remember if uh, Goku's level 2 targets the deck or the discard. It's got to be life deck. And then I remember over here I'm going to pull out a drill that was like, why the heck would I bother with that? Then I realized the one I needed overpowering aura drill, that's my means to hold down a, a, a MPPV deck, um, you know, consistently with Rejuve, uh, is in the discard pile. Coincidentally fell the heck out early on. Wonderful. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, and then I've done all of my win enterings, which is neat. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. What am I going to open up with? Oh, look at that. I'm going to throw a legendary strike at him, go ahead and mill and banish. I'm actually remembering the trigger on the mastery, and it's going to lower his anger too, which is fantastic. That must have been why I was doing it. So it lowered his anchor too, and he got one back on the block. Fantastic. And then, you know what? The banisher has an action. So he got back up to two anger with barely any activity, barely using up one card. Okay, use this particular drill. You can target a player and lower their anger, so neat. Very mild. Okay, this is the most anger hate I got. If they're Ooh, another kamikaze attack pulling back the ghost. And that is three. We are a triple header on the same particular <laughs> ally. Goodness sake. And I'm going to go ahead and eat that hit, and a drill falls out. Fantastic. I did that all wrong. Oh, and I was crit, so neat. The tiny little anger I built up was, is uh, got, got reduced. So it's back to me as far as actions. And I don't. I think one of the things that blows up in my face is that my level 2 power becomes... Okay. Um, okay, I, I don't know why I got that going weapon. on. Oh, sure. Wow, look at that, people. We're almost to the three-quarter mark, not quite, and he's already That's level four. So this is going to be a strange one. Nice. Uh, okay, he's going to go ahead and draw a face strike. I'm going to go ahead and rejuvenate a card with endurance. I do target that particular drill, which is probably wise. Yes, you did. Uh, I'll go ahead and rejuvenate a card. 
Gotcha. Um, so, Nina used transformation drills. Feels like I'm all out of ideas life. already. Yeah, looks like I'll take it. Okay. Wow, so, I have messed anger? up. Look Melt at you. this. Look at me making all the mistakes in and the world. So, yeah, Spooky Ghost dies. I mill right. two. Uh, I'll go ahead and use my mastery. Rejuvenate any two attack or block combinations. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, the mastery going. You guys remember that one block that sinks minutes. with the mastery? Okay. Oh, what? The energy Imagine. block was in there. What are you doing? Right. I raise my oh, anger sorry. one. I'm back to a useless three anger. Yeah. Shoulder slam lowers yeah, yeah, my anger no. three, I but I think as far as damage goes, it's not three. much. I think as far as that I goes, I end up hitting. AT, I'm an F, so be two stages. Two stages, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say it's two power stages because we're at F to F. It's it's a neat card in, in uh, most circumstances. Yeah, I'll go ahead and fire my Goku physical, uh, physical might free. Yeah, energy. which would have been a fantastic uh, power. Attack. Form attack. So I'll aside from top, that, top, aside top. from. Well, okay, that's my second shot of the Enhanced Mastery, oh, yeah, so he's going to go ahead and mill and banish. I do is... hit him with the power. Oh, for life in two stages. So oh. I do hit him with it. It has no yeah, possibility of critting yes, because it's not a styled, because I don't get the little boost Four. for that particular drill down the there. Of course you're going oh, and I use it up to knock his anger down, too. Okay, that explains this one. We He didn't end up MPPVing this round. Two. Neat. Actually, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It should be pay one. First shot of the tanks. Okay, he's going to start shooting and me with his level four. That does all the banishing and fun stuff. So, uh, yeah, this was an odd match. I'll say it was mine to lose because I know what strategy I need to hit. And I ran in there a couple of times with a mostly dead hand, and I do not know my motivation. Where I have time to rejuve and to uh, take my time fighting my opponent. I have no reason to rush a combat. But we're only talking about something that's a lifetime issue for me in this particular game. Nah, I'll wait one moment. So I wick off a ton of damage on that one, hitting a direct strike. I apparently have to pass. Why am I not using... Oh, gosh. Say Anguish Drill, at least. So... So he's going to yeah, fire off a second. Yeah. Or off the second one. He's going to go ahead and target and banish the two from my discard no, pile. Don't beat up Diggy. We had this discussion. That's not how this is supposed to go. So don't, look at me. don't mind me don't just off screen in it. Probably grabbing a drink. Drill. You just stop looking at it. Oh, it's just for corruption drill. Jeez, look at my drills just okay, falling so the heck out. Catch up with me for real. <laughs> oh, man. We were at the end of a long day, and my yeah. uh, my condition is the kind that makes it hard, sitting difficult. No, no, no. So I was like, oh yeah, yeah. see, I'm starting to feel the pressure build up in the back of my neck and stuff. Fun no, stuff like that. So he is going to go ahead and hit me with twice, uh, three. Three. Yeah. wonderful. He gets yeah. to shoot me twice with it. I run into excuse me, decent amount of endurance. I don't take a huge hit on it. To gain five stages. Wow. Uh, because not wow, he gains no, five stages on the like, hit. Hey, uh, it's my, I'll okay, and hit. apparently my endlessly waiting around to and try to get the timing right with well. Anguish Drill ended up just netting me one anchor. Wonderful. So, so uh, um, yeah, I have remember you know, holding on to that sphere for the rest of the game um, and it hurting my desperation the, stuff. Uh, Wonderful. The aura drill falling out? Because oh, it started my turn. Let me go ahead and just banish that tip. All right. Oh, yeah, he's going to go oh, and activate oh, his Galactic Donut fall. and more drills fall out. Wow. I have a decreasing amount of drills to pull from. Yeah, I would have just held you to stasis forever. Yeah, getting out that one any in any prior point would have meant stasis for the rest of the game, and I would just whittle him away. So he does declare combat. He is in excellent position. He's got two anger out of uh, five needed to win. Uh he opens up with a little spin kick. I lose an anger uh, on that particular one, which is fine. Uh, He's going to no raise allies, his right? anger no. one uh, uh, immediately. And apparently I'm going to just uh, take uh, this hit. What is going on with my hand? I, I haven't seen what I'm holding. On you? Uh, I take a very mild hit, take four power stages. Oh, uh, uh, spin kick. Are you back to lower anger one? Uh, Wait, oh, why didn't he have his... Banish. I never hit anything fun. Okay, uh, Kevin might have missed a hit on that one, raising his anger one, because he might have needed to be at four. Three and two? Yes, sir. Wow, hit him with a very small amount of power stage damage. So, three. And 
to. I'd be surprised if he did run into endurance. So far as I know, his deck has some of the best spread out endurance. Like everything has at minimum one. Just raise your anger immediately, Kevin. Come on. Come on. Why are we calculating damage without you handling your immediate effects? Yep, two plus four life, six life all together, and I gain the anger One, that you dropped me three, right four, back. And the rest. Okay, Great. again, does his level four not convert things and to style? I guess I don't know his powers well, well enough, because I noticed on the hit he's so not getting... No, no, that the mastery uh, would have still right. uh, triggered on that. So I think Kevin's missing all. anger triggers. No he might have actually already uh, won on that hit. Okay, so I shoot him back with a tantrum. Uh, we do the mill and banish. Okay. And yeah, it's a whole seven life altogether. Okay. Yeah, I feel like Kevin actually missed a couple of triggers Three. there. Five, seven. Nice. I believe I crit you? No. Whoa. Almost. But barely ever crit that deck. So apparently I got real close to critting him. But like I said, I think we done goofed on the anger tracking. Anybody who's watching can go ahead and play back and see if Kevin's doing that correctly, if they know Go takes level 4 better than I do. Yeah, there's, we're, we're going to do it this way. Okay, the one stage, uh, we go tanks. Okay, he's going to go ahead and ultimately fire so off we'll his level 4, now. which is fine. Uh, yeah, he's going to we'll do his go. banish. Uh, we'll go the search. Good now. And... Kyrokin. Right. Well, I thought it was two. I guess it's three Second cards he attack. banishes. That's right. significant. Be shot twice. Five life. Okay, oh, he's going to throw a five, five life, life energy. Five. Okay. Wow, those aren't oh. even a part of the deck no more. I okay, uh, I took the silly hit, three. and then he gains the anger on the hit. Again, I'm pretty I'm sure he should have. Confidence drill. Couldn't really okay. remember that particular so card. I knew it had a very me. mundane name. All right. He's going to go down to three. Uh, I don't know. Did you? Have it? Oh, that's all it does. Target a player. They lose an anger. Okay. And then it looks like Kev's got at least one card in his hand. He's got his level four power to shoot one more time. So there's really no reason that's he couldn't get to where he game, needs to get to. That Pokemon game going back in springs. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Who's playing with you? Hey, Dan Baker. I wish. <laughs> Baker, Baker oh, uh, he's gonna go ahead and, and, and fire off the second back. shot of his. No, he's fine. I'm surprised CJ knew like so much, so much in detail about it. So, oh gosh, detail. nobody does oh, rabbit nonsense talk in the background. Oh, and I take the hit off yeah, the silly just, move. Just no the right. so, I mean, it's, it's a time. good opportunity. You know, uh, so I end up taking the hit oh, and uh, so reju no, rejuvenating, using a little bit of endurance to, to wick off a big portion of the damage. That's going to put him at 4 or 5, and his next attack ought to take care of this pretty readily. Because uh, if I remember correctly, despite the pretty good block distribution, the deck is still mostly attacked. So, I don't know what on earth made me hold back on that Unleashed for so long. It seems like it would have been a better idea since I started. I hold on to one particular drill, I search for attach card, it's going to be uh, Rescue, which is a logical choice. I have almost no deck left after eating every energy I could possibly eat. So, that is my move. Impressively terrible. After all that. You're going to hate me. I'd say take your best shot. It, it's one so it looks like he has one last energy attack. And not in the way you think. And... What? Oh, good old saying burst goes off. So, it, it functioned largely as it was supposed to. I would say Kev missed a couple of triggers, maybe timing just a little bit. But the Gotenks still has rightfully earned its spot as the king of speed and 